Hi guys, I'm making videos about PAMEC. We are going to abandon Arclex PAMEC all, which was a build, which was a solution or an answer to a problem PAMEC AWAR was not building anymore, right? And that's why we created our own version built on the package of Manjaro. So in the next ISOs in 2024 and later, we won't use Flatpak and we won't use Snap anymore. They're not available and we'll switch to PAMIC AUR, which is more than enough for what we want to do. So the Arclex PAMIC call can be used until it breaks, right? And if it breaks, it's up to you to remove everything. Now, first off, this is the ISO of November, right? At that particular moment in time, it was still working fine and we did not need to change the octopi, which was December, right? It's all gooey, right? We don't use it basically just to look something up or something. Well, we, I use it, look something up and, and follow URLs and dependencies and, and that, all that. But we use the terminal to update our things or install or remove things, right? So the video is about let's get rid of PAMAC all and let's get, um, the PAMIC AOR in or Octopi if you want that. So there are two choices. Go for PAMIC. Well, three if you're on Plasma. There's Discover as well. Anyway, first things first, we need to update, right? This is also then an update video. Now in October, November, we've seen a lot of name changes because of QT5. So all Plasma related packages which had a reference or did not have a reference to five, well, to the QT5 were changed and like, I don't know, 60, between 60 and 100 packages were changed and you just saw me entering. Yes, yes, go for it. So let's update the system. Let's see if Arclink Spamac all still works. Then we're gonna remove it and it's up to you to choose Spamac AOR, pseudo Pacman minus S, PAMAC AOR or Octopi and the Octopi Notifier. And that's it. Let's wait till we can reboot. All right, we're up to date. And then we reboot. We see everything works. I'm going to do a Control R because I'm too impatient. <laughs> In first box, you can do that. Right, Control. R, reboot and you get this orphan things but whatever right it's just for quickly explain that you either choose between octopi or pamic a war those are the two choices if you keep on rolling that's fine with me right but there will be no more updates so if it's working for you and you like flat pack and you like snap and you wanted to have there that's great right but if this fails, if Arclinex PAMAC all fails, it's AUR. Yay, PAMAC. And lots of choices there. Well, we're going to go for PAMAC AUR, right? For this one, there's PAMAC AUR Git, there's a classic, there's a flat pack, PAMAC all. That's basically what we've done, right? Until now, flat pack GNOME, no snap. I mean, you just choose. The thing is, the video is, well, let's remove it and that's is more difficult than you would think right have to think about a lot of things so article x amic all is a name it's a name a name that includes all kinds of dependencies so it installs not only well it's just an empty box a group name and it's going to do all this. Well, of course, I don't want to get rid of GTK3, but I need to get rid of the, the packages that it comprises, that it entails, that it has. <laughs> wow. So, sudo pacman minus r is the first thing you should think and know. It just stands for remove, right? And I get this. That's not enough. So the second thing, is an RS and they get this and check out check out what's in there and you say okay uh, anything all of these can go that's fine so that's one 
and for education sake maybe sometimes an ss i do double that uh, do a double s there but as you see in this case there's no difference so fine pamac all is now gone that's the first thing first get rid of every, everything that's available right that's that's on there done and pseudo pacman minus s starting from the editions of 2024 will go to pamac awar which is just a package which gets built and all that just when the maintainer updates it we build it you got it right otherwise we have to think about updating and click spam a call all the time so there you go that was in removed installed let's see if it has issues i do super shift d which gives me the d menu i always like to try or to test real life meaning little icon down there and then we click this thing and it should be there the difference between the other one and this one is that here we have third party just that guy okay but it doesn't really matter so last video i typed in icons now i type in themes and let's see what we get maybe we should get first right <laughs> let's do a reload of panic he's still busy We don't have time, my friend. I know you were busy, but come on, rush, rush. So I don't know themes or theme or, and then you see that we have the A Ward, A Ward, A Ward. We can start. Oh my God, installing themes. Windows 3.11. Those were the days, right? And then have a look first before you install. You go to the Boomerang project, and this is why I use it, right? For the links. For the links before you install you have a look and say oh no maybe not right that those were the old days i don't want to go there again but there are a lot of things that we can just click and install but here we personally right i investigate i look at the dependencies go to the build files maybe but then i stop everything and i say yay or paru whatever you like or tries in order other guys and then go ahead and you type your application and see what goes on so that's it. The video is purely Arclink Spam McCall. Mm. At some point in time, it will fail, right? Uh, depending on updates, we will not be maintaining it, right? And Pamac AOR is going to be the default again, like previously. And it will be there if I log out, for example. By default, the little icon will be there. There's nothing for me to do. On tiling window manners, however, you need to launch the things yourself. Right. If you want to launch something, it's up to you to write it somewhere in the config launch PAMAC tray. So it's here. All right. Enjoy PAMAC or choose Octopi. It is entirely up to you. Bye.